Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you how I created the picture Ghost of the Bear for my Instagram account. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that. Also, a last reminder for my Black Friday Everything Bundle, it only the deal only runs until tonight, so take advantage of that. Link is below in the description. Okay, let's get started. And by the way, I'm doing it a little bit different today. I pre-recorded the video uh, because I already created the picture and I'm going to talk over this. So let me know in the comments if this is a good format that you enjoy or not. So let's get started here. As you can see, I already imported the two pictures uh, using file place to place them on the canvas. We have a square canvas, of course, for Instagram and we have the picture with the guy here that I'm placing. I'm trying to find a good position here uh, for him on the canvas that makes sense, makes a good like composition. And first of all, I want to separate the guy from the landscape. So I'm using the selection brush. You can see here making a quick selection of him. Very easy because he has a high contrast to the back of uh, or the background of the picture doing some additional strokes here to make it a finer selection and also of course using refine to give affinity photo a second chance to make the selection better good after that i'm just clicking on create mask so it's non-destructive i still have the original picture uh, but now the guy's on the own on his own layer Next, I'm duplicating the original picture with the guy in it, hiding the guy, and I am rasterizing the picture so I can use the impaint brush to remove the guy from the picture. As you can see here, impaint brush. I'm not doing it super precisely because it's covered by the guy afterwards anyways, just fixing the road a little bit. You can see here, so this is pretty quick to do. and. You can see uh, the landscape isn't wide enough for our design. So I'm duplicating the picture and I will resize it and line up the landscape so the perspective fits. Uh, we have these hard edges, but they are very simple to fix. The only thing I need to do is to create a mask for uh, the upper a copy of the image and use a brush with black color and soft hardness to just create a soft edge basically and blend it with the rest of the pictures. You can see here a uh, very easy extension of the landscape. So now we have the extended landscape. We have the guy on his own layer. Now we need to hide the sky. So I'm putting the sky, the two landscape pictures into a group and I'm using the blend ranges to make the white in the background invisible so it's really helpful in this case that the the sky is just white you can see we can now see the bear resizing it finding a good position that is not obstructed by our guy floating in the foreground and next i'm using a trick that i you will see me use very very often oh no actually this is not a trick this is uh, just creating a, a black rectangle um to uh to create a black sky instead of the white sky and now i'm also using a levels adjustment on the bear to make the bear darker so he blends better with the dark background um yeah so it's a very simple easy adjustment to do here the next thing i'm going to do is also a very easy trick i'm just created a pixel layer and i'm using a brush with black color make the brush a little bit smaller and I'm just painting with black color over the light stripe uh, to hide it. It's very easy as you can see. So sometimes it's better to just go for the easiest and fastest option you have, especially if you're not going to see it in the end result anyways. That's pretty good. And also if you know my Instagram daily art project, I'm on a limited time range here i only have up to 45 minutes to create one picture so i have to be quick i have to think about options that are quick here i'm duplicating the bear uh, I, I grouped the bear with everything i duplicated it and rasterized it so it's just one pixel layer 
Let's see what I'm going to do next. Okay, I'm also creating a levels adjustment for the guy floating in the background and uh, the foreground uh, because as you can see, uh, he has uh, kind of bright dark values. So I made the dark values even darker. He fits well. Now comes the trick, creating a rectangle, putting it on top of everything and using a gradient there um, to blend it with soft light blend range, uh, sorry, blend mode. And this will at the same time give the picture a beautiful atmosphere and bring the elements in the picture together because they now all share the same gradient um, color adjustments to them. So that's pretty helpful. Uh, the next thing I'm doing here is to use the blend ranges to make the darker areas of the bear translucent or transparent so you can't see them. Uh, this I use so I can then use glow effects on the edges that are still visible on the areas that are still visible. I'm putting it in a group. The reason for that is because it was a pixel layer, so I couldn't use the uh, layer effects. But if you put it on a group, you can still use the layer effects for glow um, to create a beautiful glow around the outer edges that are still visible of the of the layer. Here I'm just testing around with different blend modes to see which one looks best, which one works best. Um, I think I'm going to decide on soft light. Yes. Okay. As you can see, blue, we want to have a, like a ghostly shine around the bear. I'm also using the inner glow. Of course, we have to readjust uh, also the blend mode. Again, soft light. And then I'm setting this to a darker blue. So we have a beautiful look of our bear in a ghostly blue light on the sky. All right. Okay, let's see what I'm going to do next. Okay, I'm creating a glow for my guy. I want to separate it color wise from the background, but you can see because I'm using a mask, the outer edges of the picture are still edges. So what I need to do in this case is to get rid of the mask, is to rasterize the layer, but keep the layer effect. So the glow is just around the guy, not around the edges. So you can see I use rasterize and trim. I preserve the layer effects and now I only have the guy. I did some adjustments that I cut out. So this is why it has now a blue shine. Don't um, care about that. I, I will readjust it later on. So I duplicated the bear twice, as you can see, to make him more visible. But the third time, or like the second time, is to replace on the left side, you've seen the bear there, the photo just ends. So we need back hair. So I'm using the hair of the left cheek of the bear um, to replace that. So I duplicated the layer and then mirrored it, switched it to the other side and resized it so it's in this position. And now I'm just using a brush with black color to paint over the areas that I don't need anymore using a mask, of course. And the next thing is to add more dramatic elements here. I'm using a large fog brush that I've downloaded from the internet. And I'm using this on separate layers, as you can see here. Um, on the first, I use it twice to make it more um, lighter. And then I create a second pixel layer, use the fog brush again on that second layer. The reason for that is because now I'm going to resize it. So it's a little bit bigger and we have a little bit more like different feel in our fog. Then I'm going to create another pixel layer and I'm using it to create some fog on the ground. So this is another uh, brush. It goes sideways from the fog. Uh, I want to hide a little bit also the uh, the equator, not the equator line, but you know what I mean, the, the, the um, horizon line, sorry. Uh, but in this case, I'm just creating some fog for the ground. So to cover that, because of course it makes more sense if everything is fogged up in the picture that also the ground has some fog in there. Um, Duplicating the bear once again, and I'm using Gaussian blur. This is another trick I often use. 
Uh, this is to make it glow even more, to give it a nice soft shine around the bear, make it more intense. Of course, everything now is blue, doesn't work too great. So we have to do some additional adjustments and we have this bright line on our horizon, also not good. We need to fix that. I will show you in a second what I'm doing there. First of all, I'm going to readjust the outer glow of the guy and I'm using two copies of the guy. The first one has a 500 pixel glow around it in pink and the second one gets a 100 pixel glow in an orange light. So we can have different colors, we can have different intensities in the glow and this gives us a lot of variety. You can create really beautiful glows by just stacking them up uh, with duplicate layers. It's a very nice and easy trick to create beautiful glows that are multicolored. Uh, now I am actually creating a pixel layer and first I'm trying to use black to make the horizon line darker. At this, that didn't look too good. Um, you can see I play around with opacity uh, that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. But then I reconsider and I'm actually using a dark blue color instead of a black color. Uh, first of all, it blends a lot better with the design we already have in our picture. And it also gives a nice fog impression uh, back there. You can see the greenish dark blue. What is this called in English? I'm not sure. Uh, so you can see, okay, once more and adjust the opacity a little bit. So you can see with the brush and the right colors, you can do some really nice adjustments. Of course, um, playing around with the blend modes, so the darken blend mode in this case, as you can see, darken. Okay. And um, one thing that is still missing here is you can see we have some brown spots in our bear. So I created another pixel layer, set the blend mode to color. So it's just changing the color and I choose a dark blue color for that and just painting over the brown areas. This will simply recolor them to blue. So it's a very nice, easy and fast trick. So the last thing I'm doing here is the gradient that I talked about in the beginning that is laying over everything. I'm using it to bring a better dramatic light into the scenery and also separating our character from the bear by using a pink glow in the center lower part of the picture. So I'm using a radial gradient with the pink glow and on the outside I'm using a dark blue that mixes well with our bear in the background. As you can see here, I think the video is almost over. Uh, yes. So this is the last step, bringing it together, bring a more clarity to the view of the picture, to the storytelling. Let's see here. I think I want to pause that at the end. Let's pause it here. Okay. So um, this is the final results. You can see very easy and nice steps to follow to create these kind of ghostly impressions and the aura around the guy, adding the fog and also creating this nice light that separates the ground and the guy where the, the ground where the guy comes from and the guy from the bear and the nature that surrounds everything. You like thinking a little bit about the storytelling, about the drama in the uh, composition of your picture is always a good idea. I hope you enjoyed this kind of format on doing tutorials. Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.